Hey there, YouTube, Mr. Fedora Man here, back again with Let's Play Fire Emblem The Sacred Stones. This is part 11, I believe. I I really hope I'm not getting that wrong. That would that'd be very embarrassing. Anyways, we're back here with Ephraim and his troop of soldiers. So we'll quickly take a look at why not. Okay, so we got Kyle, the level 5 cavalier. We've got Ford, level 6 cavali cavalier. Blah, blah. And we got Orson, the paladin. As well as Ephraim himself, which we're going to need to get a massive amount of levels with, considering the fact that uh, Erica is like level 15 and he's level 4. Because I guess they don't expect you to do a gr arena grinding on your, uh, on your first playthrough. But that's what I did, so. Now, as you can see, Ephraim has the um, reg regla yeah, Regan Leaf. I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce that, but it's strong against cavalry and you and units and knights. So this knight here, for example, attack him with Ephraim's uh, lance there, and he will go down most certainly. Now, as you can see, they all have vulnerabilities, and. Uh, Ephraim has elixirs because he's the, the more important guy, so he needs to live. Um, but you want to be careful with how you do this, because um, you don't have a lot of healing items, so if you um, if you screw up, you might uh, run out of healing items and force one of your other units here to, uh, to do a lot of damage, which you don't want to do with Orson, because look, he's a paladin. Everyone else is tier, uh, tier 1. So wh what do you think? He's kind of like Seth. He's kind of they power, they beef him up just so that he can, uh, you know, stay powerful for that part in the game. So yeah, obviously something is going to happen to Orson here. I'll let you decide. I'll let you guys think about that. Anyways, let us kick this off. Why not? All right. See, Ford can attack with a javelin, and he's not have a bad at it either. And as I say that, wow, Ooh, wow, that was, <laughs> well, that was that was really shitty. Cause look at this. Oh, and a critical too, right on your first go. Yeah, just stab him right in the nuts. He has no problem with that. It's also got a pretty good critical hit rate. Let's not use sword, let's use lance, just for the sake of not getting our asses handed to us. I've noticed how painful these animations look. Like, Kyle just stabbed that guy through the face with a lance. Like, that's ridiculous. It's quite... These guys are quite far away. I just move Orson up just to kind of provide a little bit of backup. Because Orson is like Seth. He's very overpowered in the beginning, but once you start getting your units up there, he's not as useful. He's more of a... So look, look, look at that, he's taking no damage from all this, because they, uh... Yeah, you know, just because he's a, he's a derp. Oh, let's let... Yeah, let's let Ephraim take care of this guy. Considering he needs the experience, which... Bam, look at that, 29 times 2 on any knight units. So on a general's... On general's, he's just devastating. So we got a door key. We'll let Ephraim open up that treasure, I suppose. Forward. Let's see if you can um, do a little bit better this time. Now, the thing with Ford and uh, Kyle here is they're both um, more proficient in lances than they are swords, so their sword work oh, it's not the best. So don't expect any uh, any amazing stuff here. I try to use swords when I can because, or they're less proficient weapon, because I like to get them uh, more proficient in all all weapon types. So move my units over here so these guys can't exactly get too much done here. You want to watch out how you um, enter some of these rooms. As you can see, if I moved here, this uh, shaman here, shaman, shaman, whatever, would attack me with magic. So, same with this guy. If you moved uh, over here, he would attack you. So they're just like uh, they're just like archers. You got to be careful with how you approach them. Otherwise, it could end rather disastrous. So let's let Ford clean up house in here. Can you do better with the javelin? Shouldn't be a problem. I mean, they did take a bit of damage there. 
His vulneraries should prove useful though, so I don't have a... Oh, one times two... Ugh, let's use it. I mean, it's only two damage. Oh, come on, Kyle, really? Please miss. Damn it. Thank you, Kyle. Thank you. Really, really and truly needed that. Okay, fine, I'll use Orson. Shit. See, like, look how powerful Orson is. Like, Christ. And just just a little word of advice, you're probably not going to be able to use him afterwards. So, I'd suggest when you get to the boss, just strip him of all his weapons. He doesn't really need them anyways, so... Plus, it's more weapons for you, so... Think of it as that, I guess, if... That's, that's what you'd rather do. Ow, come on, these guys are all landing these lucky hits. Like, Christ. Ugh. It's turning out worse than I thought it was gonna... Oh shit, son. Okay, um... Don't know how I'm gonna go about doing this. This shouldn't be difficult, though. Forward attack with the steel sword. Ah, that rhymed! Yay! Kill... And then use, um... Ephraim to kill this guy. And we'll let Ford get that next... That stuff in there next turn. And Shazam. Wow. You know, he really likes spearing people in the crotch. That's, uh, it's kind of mean. Don't know why you would ever want to do that. That's just mean to a man's manhood. Chest key, there you go. Kyle. Let's see if we can finish this guy off. And yes, we can. Whew, I'm taking a lot more damage than I'd rather be. Jesus. See, that's the thing, you gotta be, you, gotta, you can't be too liberal here with them because they only have vulnerabilities, they don't have an actual healer with them. So one, you've gotta rely on these chests, which I can't remember what's in for the whole life of me. I'll try and lure this archer over here with Orson. Maybe lure some other units. Oh, they're not buying it. Alright. Let's move Kyle further ahead here. Make him use his vulnerary. Heal up. Um, how is the range of this guy? Move Orson up a little bit. Ephraim, what's in this chest? Ooh, Killer Lands, nice. That'll work out for you, and what's in here? Elixir, sweet. Let's get Ford moving as well. Ford needs to start getting going here. Get going! As, as the engineer would say from TF2. So, see, he can't use the rank of uh, the the killer lance, because he's not uh, the greatest in lances. I'm going to make Ford take a little break here and use a vulnerary, just for the sake of uh, being cautious here. Make him sit by FRM. Let's get Kyle up here. Iron Sword should have no problem taking this guy out. Uh, unless you want to count being um, impaled with an axe. Impa no, it can't be impaled. It can be a... Uh, no, I guess you can be impaled with an axe. Why am I talking about this? Holy shit. Oh, don't think so, bud. You're dead. Alright. Clean it up here. So I don't exact. Ooh, shit. I don't exactly know who to use with Kyle and Ford. I might use both of them, to be completely honest, because they're actually both really good uh, cavalier, un cavalier units. I'd, su I'd suggest making them into great knights. I don't know. I don't know much. Much. I don't know much about paladin, but I know great knight is very good tanking unit. Like holy shit. You know, let's let's rescue Ephraim here. Bring a little closer to the battlefield. I mean, you're gonna have to do that a lot to transport your troops, considering lots of them are pretty dang slow. And let's finish this guy off by stabbing him quite horribly. And let's just leave Orson over there, because I don't want Orson to get much experience. I don't, he doesn't need the kills. These guys, on the other hand, do, because they will be uh, fighting for me. Well, they're already fighting for me, but you know what I mean. Okay, so let's drop FRM there. Use Kyle to... Cannot pick up the damn kill. I was hoping for a 1% critical chance, but I mean, what's the... What's the likeliness of that, huh? 1%. That's 1%, really. That's a hell of a chance. 
And if you do get that chance, I suggest pissing yourself, because that's bloody well amazing. Ah, shit. Come on, Kyle. You can do better than that, right? I, I used you as a great knight before on my other file. You did fantastic. Ephraim, go! Stabby stab. There we go. So, yeah. A couple knights here. Uh, Ford should be good. Orson, you... I don't really like Orson that much. Ford is good. Kyle, on the other hand, needs to use his vulnerary again. Ooh, shit. There we go. Sit tight. Let the other units come to you. Or not. Why not? Why not? I didn't expect you to. These guys are lances, so lances to lances. And just move Orson up a little bit. He's kind of the backup if shit goes bad. See, look at this. Look how much... Ow! Look how much damage that's supposed to do right there. 28, and it's probably times 2. My Christ. No... Unless this general has an axe, I don't think... Ephraim's gonna be losing to this guy. Ow, oh, shit. Come on, man. I really don't want to have to use my elixir already, but they're probably gonna go for Ephraim. I guess it's good he gets some level ups. Why not? You know, getting the level ups. No, he's gonna go for uh for Ford here. Boom. Oh yeah, there we go, there we go. Nice kill there, Ford. Nice. I have to change the way I'm sitting. I'm sitting very weird. This hurts. Oh shit! Oh, I guess it's a good idea that I switched to lances, hey? I didn't want to go swords, because then I get, uh... I get the shitty end of the triangle, like these guys do. Attacking small... Yeah, look, one damage, and boom. 14 in trade. Not... Not worth it. Generally. Do 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 I really like this music, by the way. This music is fantastic. It's like I can show you another... Look at this. Cal look, look at that. 35 times 2. That's like 70 damage right there. That can pretty much take out any uh, level 20 second tier. Because the most you get HP-wise for any of your units is 60. So that could easily take out any cavalry knight. Okay, if Ford needs this. Let's use the Iron Sword. Why not? I'm gonna try and keep Kyle and Ford um, generally around the same level if I can. Because I'm, I'm considering using both of them, actually. Let's see, spears this way. Let's go this way. He's got a lance, right? Yeah. Let's put Kyle up here with his lance and Orson over here for some backup just in case. Of course, this guy moves up. Why wouldn't he? Ouch. Oh, three critical. Nice. Damn. Damn, Kyle, you're cleaning up. Shit. But as you can see, with the lack of um, any kind of healer, cleric, or bishop, these guys are very, very crazy. See, I don't want to move too close there, because these magic users... I guess I could just take Ford and go after him. Yeah, let's do it. This should work. I really hope it does. There we go. Whoo, shit. Which means I can move, um, Ephraim and Orson up now. Don't want them falling behind here. Except for Orson. I don't really mind if Orson falls behind, really, because I don't like Orson. Orson is a, um... Holy shit. That's gonna be very, very close. Oh, thank god. Holy shit. And Ford picking up the kill right there. Damn. Ford, you're a lucky son of a bitch right there. <laughs> that could have ended up really badly. Well, on that note, I think I'm going to just stop the battle here. So in the next part, we will most likely finish cleaning up all these enemies. Take out Zonta here. That's a, that's a weird-ass name. Zonta. I'm going to take him out, seize the throne, and see what else is going on here. So, with that said, this is Mr. Fedorman, signing off. Bye!